I have been following Gina's embedding models over the last various months and they always impress. In this video, we are going to install and check out their new model called as Gina Clip V1. Before we do that, let's have a look at the background as why I think this is one of the best embedding model out there and what problem does it solve. Contrastive Language Image Pre-Training or CLIP is widely used to train models to align images and text in a common embedding space by mapping them to fixed size vectors. In simple words, let's have a look at this text embedding model by Gina which was released some time back. This is a Gina Embeddings V2 but this only works on text embeddings or text data. Then we have this CLIP width model which works on images. So if you have a multimodal data pipeline where you want to get embeddings both from text and images, then earlier you had to not only get this clip width based model for images and then separately this text embedding model from Gina or any other provider. But the point is that for one task which included text and images, you had to have two embedding models. So this new model Gina Clip V1 resolves that issue and now you get one model for both text embeddings and for image embeddings. If you look at the earlier clip models, those models are key to multimodal information retrieval and related tasks. But clip models generally underperform in text only tasks compared to specialized text models. This creates inefficiencies for information retrieval systems that keep separate embeddings and models for text only and multimodal tasks. Text image contrastively trained models such as CLIP create an aligned representation space for images and text by leveraging pairs of images and their corresponding captions. So if you look at traditional text embedding models such as I, as I showed you the Gina embedding V21. They excel in text-to-text -text retrieval, but incapable of cross-modal tasks. But as is shown you earlier, the clip width base effectively aligns image and text embeddings, but are not really optimized for text-to-text -text retrieval due to their training methodologies and context limitation. But this model, Gina Clip V1, bridges this gap by offering robust performance in both domains. Its text component matches the retrieval efficiency of Gina Embedding V2, while its overall architecture sets a new benchmark for cross-modal retrieval. This dual capability makes it an excellent tool for multimodal retrieval augmented generation, enabling seamless text-to-text -text and text-to-image searches within a single model. Let's try to get it installed locally and then we will play with it before i do that let me give a huge shout out to mass compute who are sponsoring the vm and the gpu card which i'm going to use for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video description plus i am also going to give you a coupon code which will give you a further 50 percent discount let me now take you to the vm this is the one where I'm using Ubuntu 22.04 and this is the GPU card. I'm using NVIDIA RTX A6000 of 48 GB of VRAM. Let me clear the screen. I would highly suggest that you install Conda to keep everything separate from your local system. I already have it installed and now let's create the Conda environment. I'm just calling it Gina and that shouldn't take too long. And then we are going to step into that virtual environment by simply activating it that is also done let's clear the screen and now we need to install some of the prerequisites which include transformers and then pillow and few other usual suspects let's wait for it to get installed shouldn't take too long all the prerequisites are done let me clear the screen and now let me fire up my Python interpreter. That is done. Let's import the auto model from transformers. So now what we are going to do in this uh, test is we are going to check the embeddings for the text data. And we are also going to check the embeddings for the vision data. Embeddings are simply the numerical representation of your text. 
normally embeddings are used in the retrieval augmented generation or react pipeline so what happens is for example you have your own document in text or pdf format or you have your own images on which you want to do the rag or you do want to fine tune the model so first you need to convert that data whether it is in text or images to numerical representation or factors or embedding so that model could understand so that is what embedding model does and then we do the similarity search on the data for example if you have two images and if you want to know if they are similar you need to compare the embeddings and there are a lot of similarity uh, algorithms like cosine similarity and then there are few others which you can use to measure the similarity and that is what we are going to do both on first text and then on the images so we have imported that let's get our gina clip model by using the auto model library from transformers and you see that it's being downloaded it's a embedding models are normally small as you can see here this one is just 891 meg so let's wait for it to finish that is done okay so let me get a text one example so this is just a text sentences i'm just calling it a blue cat and a red cat let's also grab a couple of images you can grab your own images or you can just give url to the images i have just taken these two images from their example let me quickly actually show you the images so this is one image the first one and then this is the second image and we will see uh, we will generate their embeddings and then we will see how similar they are so both are the cats of course so we have specified our sentence and we have specified our images let's first convert a text data into numerical representation or embedding by just encoding the text of the model that is done let's also <clears throat> grab the images url and then this is simply i'm using the image embedding for it that is also done it is running quite quickly because of the very good gpu by the way okay so first let's get the text embedding similarity i'm just going to press enter a few times okay so this is a text embedding similarity so this is the first one the first sentence which is our a blue cat okay and then let's get the image embedding for the first image this is the blue cats one and then now let's get the text embedding value of the second text and you see how similar they are sorry i just printed that one again let me copy it yeah sorry no i did the right thing i'm just removing it so you see this is the first text this is the second text and because the sentences are quite similar the embeddings are quite similar too let's also get the text image cross modality similarity there you go so i'm just comparing the image and text here <clears throat> they are not that similar and now let's do the text image cross modality there you go so you see um, we have our array of text embedding text embedding first we are comparing how much similar this blue cat and let me go up sorry so first we are in, so this is a text zero and this is a text one this is image zero this is image one so first we are doing how much text zero is similar to text one it is says 0.5 which is quite good more than half and then we are comparing that okay how much text zero is closer to text embedding this because these are the images it says no and then text embedding and image embedding 0 1 it's just quite high because those um, blue cat matches the blue cat image and similarly you will see if say we see a text embedding 1 to 0 doesn't match and then text embedding to image embedding it's not that high uh, so primarily what what is happening here is that you can do text to text embedding comparison similarity you can do image to text image to image text to text and it all depends upon your use case so earlier what we had to do we had to get two models separate for these tasks 
but now thankfully with the help of this Gina clip one we can do it in one go and that is the whole point around this Gina models so that's it guys let me know what do you think about this model really good model i think this will make you know a lot of uh, life easier in your rag pipeline especially if you are using the multi-modal data i will drop the link to this model in video description play around with it let me know your thoughts if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching